Hey Tim, so the next one we're going to cover is just a forearm choke or a wrist choke from slide control. Right? Um, this is quite an interesting technique from here. We don't see it that often in jiu-jitsu tournaments, although it is useful for that too. Um, but it's a great setup position, so it's a position that will force our partner to move so we can attack with the next stage. And it works quite nicely in, in combination with um, learning how to get some control for ground and pound and stuff like that for MMA as well. Right? So we're in a nice tight side control, legs wide, close to our partner. And we're going to start with the far side underhook. Right? So I'm controlling the partner's shoulder on this far side. I'm going to use my free hand or the hand closest to his head to do the, the forearm choke. And the main principle that I'm going to apply is I'm going to tuck my hand behind the back of the shoulder here. Right? So if I need to, I use my underhook to pull it up a little bit to get that nice and deep. My elbow is then going to pop down towards the mat, driving down this way. Notice as I'm doing that here, my hand is creeping upwards. I want to keep that anchored on his shoulder as much as I can, so the, the force of me dropping my elbow to the mat goes through the intended target at the bottom, and I don't relieve that by allowing the hand to come up. Right? So really anchor that shoulder, and then I apply weight down by leaning to that forearm side. So I had the underhook, I grab the back of the shoulder, I bring my forearm across the larynx, and then I lean down on that side until he taps, and that's our very basic forearm choke. Right? So again, underhook position, control the shoulder on the top side, and I simply lean towards the head. All right? So I really shift that weight over the arm that I'm applying pressure down with. Don't try and pressure down on the side, that becomes muscular, versus what we want to use is gravity driving down in the middle. All right? Let's do it from a different angle slightly. So I have the underhook, hand comes to the back of the shoulder, weight transfers, and I just lean down through my forearm till we get the tap. Right. It applies a lot of pressure on the front of the larynx and normally that'll force our partner to defend by turning to the side slightly. And as they do that, they'll either set you up for um, an option for a guillotine or uh, rolling the other way to take the back. Right. Oops, let's have a look from here. So Ezra has the underhook from slide control. So this yep. uh, right hand underhook, that's it. Good, so he's got nice good control here first. Then he's gonna tuck his hand, you can hear the voice changing already, tuck mm -hmm. his hand behind the shoulder, and then, but see how the came off, so really grip. You already grip both? Just grip behind here, yeah. yeah. So it's this hand that needs to stay oh, anchored. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's it, nice little bit more. Nice. Alright, so go again. Underhook. Good, weight down first. Good. Weight down. Yep, then elevate the shoulder. Yep, grip on. Sit the weight back this way. So just leaning down on that side. Um, Guys, one thing that's important as you guys are going for that forearm choke is just look at the wrist. If you're flexing this way too much, you're giving them space where the larynx is. So you're not applying the right pressure. So make sure that your grip was strong through the forearm. So I, I set the hand, and then as I apply the elbow down, I straighten my arm out and I flick the wrist back. Oh. Give me one more okay. go. So under. Yeah, the grip changes everything in. Yeah, big time. Alright, so heaps more pressure that way. Put that wrist up, forearm choke. Yeah. 